Wikipedia is an online encyclopedia that provides free content and is maintained collaboratively by volunteers around the world. It offers articles in various languages on a wide range of topics, including history, science, technology, arts, and more. Wikipedia has an average of 10 billion page views every month. Now think, if you can make video content with this unlimited data, what will be the result? It's a great opportunity for you. In today's video, I will share the easy and step-by-step -step process of making a video from Wikipedia content. So, without further ado, let's dive in. First of all, we need to reach the topic or niche. We can use ChatGPT for researching the niche. But ChatGPT can't access web pages with the free version. But there is a free alternative. Today, I will use Google Bard. Open your browser and search for Google Bard. Now click on the first link. This is Google Brad, a conversational generative artificial intelligence chatbot developed by Google. OK, come to the message box and enter 10 most popular Wikipedia niches. Google Brad will provide you the popular niches of Wikipedia. You can choose any niche from here. I will select the history niche. Now ask Google Bard for the 10 most popular history articles in Wikipedia. Google Bard will analyze the history articles of Wikipedia and provide 10 articles, which has the most page views. That means they are already popular and we need exactly this. Now select one of them, I will select the first one, the World War II. After selecting your topic, come to Wikipedia and search for your topic. I will search for World War II. In this article, you will find every detail about World War II. If we can make a video with this article, it will be a great informative video for our viewers. But it's not possible to make a video with this article. Before making the article, we need to refine it. Just copy the article link and come back to Google Bard. Now ask Bard AI to rewrite the article in a shorter version. For tutorial purposes, I will rewrite the article in under 300 words. You can use as many words as you want. Now Google Bard will analyze the Wikipedia article and rewrite a shorter version for us. And here is the result. It's impressive. If you don't like it, you can regenerate it. You can hear an audio version from here. All right, we have selected a topic and made a shorter version of an article. I will use it as my video script. Now let's move forward to the video creation. First, I will create a virtual presenter for my video. To do this, I will use Deep Real AI. With Deep Real AI you can create realistic AI avatar video. You can use Deep Real AI with Canva too. It's integrated with Canva. First of all, we need to create an account. Click on the sign up button from here. Now enter your email address to create the account. A one-time password will be sent to your email inbox. Copy the code and paste it into Deep Real AI. And this is the Deep Real AI video generator. Before starting video creation, let's generate an intro script for our video. Click on Create New Script from here. On this page, we have to give the instructions. First, select the template, and I will select Freestyle. Next, in the prompt section write like, write a YouTube video intro about World War II. After that, select a tone. I will select Friendly. After all is set, hit the Generate Content button from here. Deep Real AI will generate three scripts for you. You can use any one from here. OK, our intro and video script are ready. Now we can create our video. You can generate videos with the Deep Real dashboard. But I will use Canva. If you are confused where you will find the Deep Real AI on Canva, just come to the home page and then click on the apps from here. After that scroll down in the Apps tab, and you will find Deep Real AI on the AI-powered Apps tab. You can use Deep Real AI on a previous design or create a new design. I will create a new design. Here you can create a design for YouTube videos, Instagram Reels many others. I will select a video design. Now we have to connect with our Deep Real AI account. Click on the Connect button from here. Enter your registered email address. A new OTP will be sent to your mailbox. Copy the code and connect it to your account. Now you can see the avatars. Look at these avatars. They look so realistic. Click the See All button to see all the avatars and then select one avatar. After that, select the background color. I will use green color as my background. 
Now copy the intro script from Deep Real AI and paste it into the script box in Canva. Then you can change the language. Select your script language. In my case, it will be English with US accents. You can hear the voiceover preview by clicking here. If you are satisfied, click on Generate Video from here. It will take some time to generate the video. Let's first forward this part. And here it is, our first video is ready. Insert the video on the creator page and then adjust the size. Let's have a look at the quality. Hi everyone, today we're diving into the history of one of the most devastating wars in modern history, World War II. From 1939 to 1945, this war tore apart Europe and became one of the defining events of the 20th century. It's great. All right, our intro is ready. Now let's create the second video with Google Bard generated script. Copy the first paragraph of the script from Google Bard because Deep Real AI allows only one minute video creation one time. Now come to Canva and click on the Create Buton from. After coming to the Creator page, select the same character used in the first video and then change the background color. After that paste the script. After all is set, hit the Generate Video in this way generate videos with the full script. For tutorial purposes, I only generated three videos. There is an important fact. Deep Real AI gives you only two free credits, which means you can create only two minutes of free video. If you don't want to buy their subscription, you can use free lip sync technology. I discussed this method in this video. You can watch it after watching this video. All right, after generating the videos, click on the plus icon from here and create a new page. Now insert the next video on this page. In this way insert all of the videos. Now we will edit the video to make it more visually appealing. Come to the first page and then select the video. Now click on the edit video button from here and then remove the background. After removing the background from the first video, remove the background from all other pages. Okay, now I will add some elements to the video. First, come to the first page. On this page, I will create a studio-like environment. Come to the Element tab and search for Studio and then select Image. You will find a vast number of images here. Select one of them and insert it into the video page. Now adjust the size to make it perfect. After that, press Ctrl and the key from your keyboard to send it to backward. That's perfect. Now search for a rectangle frame in the search bar and then select a rectangle frame. I will use it as a screen. Place it beside the actor. If you want that, this screen will appear sometime after some time later of starting the video, click on the three dot menu and then select show timing a new timeline will open bottom of the video. You can adjust the starting or ending point of the video. Alright, our frame is ready, now I will insert a video footage on it. Come to the element tab again and then search for World War II. You will find a vast number of footage here. Select one of them and drag it on the frame. Ok, our first page is completed. On the second page, I will use video footage as the background. Insert a video on the second page and then select it as a background. In the same way, set a background video for the third page. But on the third page, I won't use the full actor body. I will put it in a circle frame. To do this come to the element section search for circle frame and then select the frame tab. Now select one circle frame from here and then place it on the third page. After that drag the actor's video on the circle. You can adjust the size if you want. Alright, our video editing is completed, now I will use a music as the background music of this video. Come to the elements section again. Scroll down and find the audio section. Now search for music that is suitable for your video. After adding the music to the timeline adjust the volume. After all is set, download the video. Ok, our video has been downloaded, let enjoy. Hi everyone, today we're diving into the history of one of the most devastating wars in modern history, World War II. From 1939 to 1945, this war tore apart Europe and became one of the defining events of the 20th century. Throughout this video, we'll look at the events and outcomes of the war, putting events in perspective in order to gain a better understanding of the conflict and its impacts. So let's jump right in and explore the history behind the Second World War. World War II was a global war that lasted from 1939 to 1945. 
the vast majority of the world's countries, including all of the great powers, eventually formed two opposing military alliances, the Allies and the Axis. A state of total war emerged, directly involving more than 100 million people from more than 30 countries. The major participants threw their entire economic, industrial and scientific capabilities behind the war effort, blurring the distinction between civilian and military resources. World War II was the deadliest conflict in human history, marked by 50 to 85 million fatalities, most of whom were civilians in the Soviet Union and China. Tens of millions of people died due to genocides, including the Holocaust, premeditated death from starvation, massacres, and disease. That's a really cool video, I think. You can make it more stunning by giving some extra effort. All right, friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear about your experience of creating videos from Wikipedia with AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy creating!